guitar is such a capable instrument when it comes to sounding like full-blown music. And electric guitars, I think, are emulating a lot of their favorite rock musicians oftentimes, where the guitar has one role. It's not the, like, it's not the singer, and it's not, you know what I mean? So we're providing this sort of rhythmic, melodic bed with these blocks of chords. But when you start playing classical and jazz, you realize, whoa, I can sit alone and produce what sounds like full-blown multiple part music on this neck. And so a lot of that comes from abandoning the pick momentarily and learning how to use each finger because then you really can kind of do independent lines, you can create harmony and melody at the same time. Where you can kind of have like a line and the moving chords underneath it. I first got into it, there's, there's two major influences. One is uh, Javier Reyes, who plays in Animals as Leaves with me, is an amazing classical slash Spanish classical guitarist. Like, so I downloaded a bunch of tab off the internet and bought like an entry level nylon string, would just like sit in seclusion so no one can hear me and try to work it up, you know? You kind of end up navigating the fretboard different and you do slightly different things when you are using your open right hand because it's almost like you have four picks in a way, you know? So especially on extended range guitar too, because then you can... Um kind of uh, target certain notes and then do sort of clusters of higher pitched notes or whatever. But if you're picking, you're either having to skip strings or strum all the way through. It just makes the neck with eight strings on it a little less uh, utilizable, it seems like, just because you're, you're always aware of traversing all of these strings as opposed to just, just having them available to you like this. So yeah, I do a lot of open right hand stuff. We have songs where you only, I only use the pick for the solo or something like that. Right. When it came to like the bass, sort of Victor Wooten style stuff, I was in a band with this guy, Evan Brewer, who is a phenomenal bassist, and he studied with the Wootens, and so he knew how to do all that double thumping stuff, a lot of cool tapping approaches. And so hearing him do it all the time, I was like, dude, you gotta show me. So that's why I picked up the sort of double thumb thing. Yeah. And then, and then you, can, you can start to merge them just because it's all your right hand, you know? So why limit yourself to one stroke per thumb when you can do sort of the double thing? It's kind of like I'm doing a combination of nail and flesh, which I think most classical guitars do anyway. <laughs> Trying to get the... It's the double thumb. Because I think a lot of guitars, depending on your style, you actually can do sort of the index and middle finger vibe. If you've played any, any finger style stuff, you've kind of started using an open right hand. But what's counterintuitive is the upstroke with the thumb. I feel like that is the crux of the technique. I would go in that order, you know. You can even mute the that really illuminates how hard and consistently you're striking and you don't have to worry about fretting you know what I mean like because it's it's a such a you already know how to play with your left hand sometimes it's it's easier to develop the technique if you just kind of pick a string and mute it because it's so percussive that you actually are primarily concerned with percussive elements like how hard you're hitting how consistent it sounds and then from there you can you can add So right there, I'm not actually doing any double thumping, but it's a riff that is really dependent on like muting and fretted notes. One is like almost like a kick drum type of thud. So like, you hear the difference once you start sustaining notes versus like really staccato. Right. But yeah, I feel like the left hand kind of knows more than the right, especially if you're used to just picking all the time. So I was like kind of focused on getting the right hand down. And then once that was there, I could plug in all the sort of stuff I knew on my left hand. Mm -hmm. 